We've got 10 stadium super trucks here that have been imported from the Robbie Gordon Motorsports headquarters in North Carolina. They were refurbed after the last round of Portland and Oregon at the start of September, shipped out to Australia during the week, and they're ready for blast off and their return. If you didn't see our coverage yesterday, confirmed an eight round series back in Australia from next year at the Adelaide 500. We'll take in some of the tracks like Tasmania, Townsville, Sydney Motorsport Park, and we'll end the series right here. There's your race winners. It's a tie between Harlan and Brabham so far after 17 races that kicked off at the Circuit of the Americas earlier this year in Texas. These two guys will square off in this championship. But for now, it's Toby Price and Greg Biffle. Vancouver, Washington zone, Greg Great Biffle. Flag. As we get underway, and welcome back Stadium Super Trucks to Australia. Ten of them leave the start line and make their way down. It's a ten-lap race with a competition caution that will come up during the race, which will stack the field up. And so far, we get into turn number one with Toby Price. Biffle to second position. Bill Hines is doing double duties this weekend in his 100th start in the Stadium Super Trucks, the second driver to only ever start 100 races. Very impressive for Bill Hines, and we're looking for a lot of them today as well. Robbie Gordon tries to sneak a wheel in there. Matt Bradham, he said, hey, I'm starting with Robbie right now. Oh, oh, it. Already getting contact with the fence second time today. It happened earlier in the Aussie racing cars as well. So Nolan, off to a bad start. Coming in real hot. It looks like there's Cole Potts as well. Oh, Toby Price, he's into the wall. And the driver's man said, hey, guys, let's keep it calm and cool. That's not what's happening right now. The full 360 out of the Moose Mobile, Toby Price, the Dakar superstar, stays in the lead. Greg Biffle says, what is going on right now? Earlier today, I talked to Russ Engel. He's like, oh, great. I hand him the start grid. I'm starting in the middle. What's the worst that could happen? Yeah. Well, it's all unfolding in front of him and behind him right now as we hop on board with Robbie Gordon. How was the recovery from Toby Price? 360 continues to lead the race and barely any damage to his number 87 mount is hard on the nose is Russell Ingle at the Boatworks entry. He's about to be taken for the lead. Well, by that pass by Morris, who inverts himself around here. So he'll drop to the tail of the field in that hot 4x4 World Gym Australia entry. What a wild opening lap for the Stadium Super Trucks. It's going to be Price that leads Greg Biffle, who leads Bill Hines across the ramp at the end of this first lap. We are talking about some different records and some different stats here today, not just in Australia, but worldwide. Another new record that is worldwide is doing a 360, keeping in the lead, and still going over the checkered flag, or the, the start finish line. So impressive stuff. Okay, there is Matty Nolan. He's like, oh, hang on, hang on. Doesn't get to the wall. You've got to pay for the whole seat, but you only need the edge here. That's a 600. And now we're on board with Paul Dude Morris getting a look at Nolan. Going parks it over there pretty good. Gets through it. Not too, too much damage to the truck here. He's going to be fine. And then look at this. Toby Price. Uh-oh, where am I going? I'm going right. I'm going left. Little shimmy shake. Let's bring it around. Drop it down to second. We out. Then he keeps the lead. That was awesome. Here it is again. Clearing the ramp on the backside to the Virgin Australia chicane. It landed weird to begin with. It sent him, he's got a tank slapper here. It steps out one way, heads back towards the wall. Greg Biffle saw this coming a mile away. He probably could have taken the lead here, but he didn't know where this 87 was going to end up. He glances the wall, takes a bite out of it like a shark, <laughs> spins around. Biffle's going, which way do I go? And Price, who now sheds his skin, continues to lead this race. Order is unchanged, first, second, and third. And how angry is this battle pack coming through? Turns 12 and 13 on lap two. Uh, yeah, I was just going to say it looks really angry as Biff tries to dive in there pretty good. I don't think he, he didn't try to take the lead when uh, Toby went around there just because he was like, literally, I know Biff, is, he's kind of a mellow dude. He's like, what is actually happening in front of my eyes right now? I've never seen anything like this, uh, nor, have, uh, nor have we. So looking really good as they go down the front stretch. Bill Hines, he's got a good over it today. He's looking very comfortable. Tom Ford running right now in P3. Great camera angle right there. Looking back at Gavin Harlan. I call him the Cobra because he will strike so quickly. Right now, way up in front. Toby Price really pushing it. Really pushing it. So we have a caution out right now. We're three of 10 laps in. The caution may be coming out due to uh, the bonnet or the hood right. of Toby Price's truck. The bow hood. Yeah, the bow hood. Combination. The bow hood. Um, so smart, I guess, to uh, slow him down to get that cleaned up. A lot of times in the past, you've seen that uh, kind of debris just lay out, but it's best to clean it up, keep everything good and calm. Right now, we're looking Price, Biffle, Hines, Brabs, Cole Potts. He's rounding out the top five. Russ Engel 
He, uh, he's probably right about where he thought he was when he, when he told me earlier on. He's like, well, what's the worst that could possibly happen? So here's the hood coming off of the number 87. Keeping the engine nice and cool on Toby Price's car. Gives us a good look at the internals, the anatomy of a stadium super truck under this caution period. Well, Paul Morris is out in the field. Dude, you've won here before on the streets of Surface Paradise. It's great to have you back and great to have the stadium super trucks back in their natural habitat. That's pretty good, mate. Uh, really enjoying it here. Got tangled up with the enforcer then, so <laughs> turned myself round and I'm down the back of the pack here, so I'll see what I can do. Hey, dude, uh, you know, we were talking in the driver's seat about, hey, let's keep our heads on straight. Let's stay nice and calm and mellow uh, in the first race here. Is uh, everyone heeding that advice that came from you? No. <laughs> <laughs> it, no it's, it's, it's pretty good. Um, the pace is, pace is pretty hot. I can see Bill the Thrill up there holding down a good position, so he's doing a good job. And Russell's actually backing everyone up a bit, so we'll see what happens here at the restart. But Russell's the bottleneck at the moment. Right on. Well, uh, we'll see if you can uh, make the best of him right there. And with any luck, everyone's going to calm down like the Thrill's doing and put in some good laps. Yeah, everyone's fast. There's, uh, there's no weak read here. Everyone's hauling the mile, so. All the fans are cheering. It's it's amazing what you can see when you're driving around here, how many people are really enjoying this. So thanks to Cams, thanks to Supercars, thanks to everyone involved for getting behind this and making this happen. It's cool. Even Russell Coit's <laughs> enjoying the action up on top of the balconies here, dude. Great to have you back. Enjoy the second part of the race, mate. Thanks, man. So we'll slow the field down for a moment. The balconies absolutely jam-packed around this surface paradise street circuit with calm the farm if you will yeah with price biffle Hines, matt brabham who's won here before in that epic race with sheldon green back in 2016 he's the defending stadium super truck series champion leading the points in 2019 as well he runs fourth cole potts runs in fifth position the security state bank number 60 there he is the green truck sitting behind matty brabham right now behind him is russell ingle robbie gordon gab harlan and paul morris at the tail of this field. Expect that to change when we come back to green flag racing. And we are gonna be going green flag this time around. We are scheduled for 10 laps. I'm, I'm up in the air on this. This could very well be considered our comp caution. Every lap made out here is a lap counted. And we are on a quick replay right here. And there is Russ Ingall. We saw him we saw him get into that uh, barrier yesterday. He did it again today. There will be a penalty assessed by that. But did race control catch it? We saw it. Did they get that angle as all? And were they looking at that screen when it happened? So uh, if uh, there's a good chance that uh, Russ Ingall is going to get caught, he should be getting sent to the rear of the grid. And we'll be looking to see if that happens. It looks like he doesn't want to. Robbie's pulling up on him. Now, race control can speak to all of them. It's a matter of Yeah, it's a matter if they listen or not. So they all know that every one of them is listening. You can tell the way it's happening right now. Robbie's trying to get by. Harlan's like, I don't care what happens. I'm going to have to move you out of the way. <laughs> Russ is saying, no, 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 I'm staying where I am. So we'll see how this unfolds. They might just throw it green and then deal with it post-race. And so we'll see if that may, we might just go seven straight laps here. This could be considered our comp caution. As the green flag is out. Tony Price is in the lead. It's been a wild ride for him. No laps in practice. First lap around the track was here in the race. 360 stays in the lead. It's been a wild one for our leader. In car with the dude, the whole four by four entry as Gordon takes the inside. Harlan just ahead here in the VP Racing Fields entry. His good buddy Jeff Hoffman not in the field this weekend. We used to see him. The 47 out there is side by side through turn four. Bradham goes past Hines and Cole Fox will do the same as they clear the ramp on the back side of the circuit from the airtime. The guys at the back are getting and now let's settle into a rhythm in the stadium super trucks. Lap four and ten here in Surface Paradise. I tell you, the young Harlan is showing a lot of respect right now for Russ Ingball and the drivers in front of him, but he's going to watch up and he's going to keep seeing these leaders pull away. He's not going to let that happen much longer. And that's going to be the same for Robbie Gordon behind Bill Hines. Bill's fast. He's looking really good. One of the best performances we've seen of 2019 in the past is happening today right now for Robbie Gordon. He's got the speed to win this thing. I think it's going to be a little less of the shenanigans like you saw in lap one and a little more of the I meant to do that type of stuff and move you out of the way. As we're on board right there with Morris. So the enforce, enforcer there drops back. He was uh, enforced the back of the pack. <laughs> and so now he has slid out of the way there. Robbie Gordon heavy up on three. Power to the ground right there for Gordon. 
and both Harlan as well. So now we've got a Heinz sandwich. There's a lot of meat in that sandwich. As the barrier went flying again, who tagged it? I'm not quite sure yet, but someone got into that game. Then we get sick of this in-car shot when they leap high into the sky here. Magic day here at Surfers Paradise as Price continues to lead with Biffle. Grab him up to third position now and latches on to the back of that Continental Tires entry. The former NASCAR star is in his fourth real round start with the series. He podium at the Portland race. Down the inside in the hairpin goes Paul Morris on Gavin Harlan, so he's trying to pick his way through these trucks ahead because the guys at the front have got about five seconds on the field. Now, would that have counted as our competition caution? Well, that's what I'm wondering. And technically, it wouldn't have, but every lap that we are out here, whether it's under green or under caution, is counting. Yeah. It's 10 laps, and 10 laps is 10 laps. So will they bunch them back up and do an actual comp caution or just let them eat? If they let them eat, we got some trouble for the guys in the back of the pack because Toby Price is set in a major, major pace right now. Greg Biffle's hooked an anchor to him. We know Matty Brabs and Cole Potts. What are they going to do? They're just going to get faster and faster as the race goes on. Everyone else in the back is all done. And that answers that question. Here's your comp caution. There it is. Turn 11, turn 12 the region. Now we're going to pull the competition caution. So gives the guys like Morris and Harlan, who are seventh and eighth, a shot to move forward here. So this is part of the rules we have in Stadium Super Truck Racing. It used to be a complete lap, but at Detroit a couple of years ago, it was deemed to take too long to do a lap. So he yeah. ran right around to the backside of the circuit and gave him virtually the final sector to regroup. So he takes a replays here in truck now. The Hawks 4x4 going down the inside to turn four hairpin on Gavin Harlan, who climbs across the right front wheel of Paul Morris's entry. Now, Harlan, you could say that maybe he didn't see the dude right there, but I think the dude was up far enough. We're going to find out right now. He, yeah, he knew what was going on, but he's got his race face on. Got in there, got a little bit aggressive, and uh, we've seen uh, some aggressive moves in between Harlan and the dude in the past. That's not the first time they've swapped paint, and I believe that was Harlan right there that hit that. So they're getting ready to go. Green flag this time by. This will be another single file rolling restart with the possibility of just two more laps, depending on time. Right now we're scheduled for 10, but we have also have a time limit as well. So, Boost Mobiles, Dakar Superstar. Toby Price right there, two-time Dakar winner, out in front, no laps in practice, but man, it looks like he did 100 laps this morning. He's looking comfortable. He'll lead us back to the final green flag in race number one and the 18th of this year's series. Past the pack grandstands and corporate hospitality platforms. In pit lane we go with Price, Biffle. Biffle's done so well for a track he's never seen. We spoke to him last night. He loves the course. He says, man, this place is tight. On his first visit, he runs in second position. As we look at side-by-side -side shots here, Morris trying to make the moves on the inside, and Gordon thinking the same on the back of Cole Potts down on the turn four hand in. You see there is the dude getting to the inside of Hines. The thrill right there. Hines giving him a little bit of room. Not too aggressive to one another. A lot of respect shown right there. Look at right now, we got Bravum and Potts. Potts trying to make a move on Bravs. Can he make it happen? As they go into the chicane, Bravs got nowhere to go. They had to give way at a certain section there. Bravs got pushed to the outside all on his own. Nowhere left to go. Potts is holding his line. And now it's side by side. Robbie Gordon at speed energy number seven to the inside of Bravs as well. Bravs loses in another position, drops back what I believe is P5. Yes, it is. So now, now you're looking at Bryce, Ingall, Potts, Gordon, and Brabs. Not any real big surprises up there, but very impressive for both Toby Price and for uh, Biffle. I said Ingall, Greg Biffle. With them not getting much seat time in the trucks, Biff never been in on, on this track before. Man, they are running like the, the top dogs that they are. He's trying to make the move. He tried to force the door open on Toby Price. And you watch Cole Potts here on the way down to the final chicane. So he's shown his nose as the man from Vancouver, Washington, sweeps through the S's and across the ramp. Lap six as they fly through the beautiful blue skies at his surface paradise. Toby Price setting sail. Here comes Gordon down the inside. He's got Brabham going with him now. Price locks up. Can he pull it up into turn number one? Only just. Just makes it happen. Talk about pushing the limits of what is possible here in these super trucks. Toby Price really making it happen. Looks like Gordon, he makes a couple passes very quickly, gets up into P2. And I was best about to say, if you want to see some controlled violence on a racetrack, watch Cole Potts. 
this is when he gets down to the nitty gritty and he will do all kinds of crazy moves that seem outrageous, but yet he knows what he's doing. And he's right behind the Biff right now. Oh, is the Biff too smart for that stuff? I don't know as we're side by side. Again, grab him, Gordon, right in the windshield, the rear shield. Rear mirror, you have Toby Price, a lot of pressure on Price right now. Oh man, he's got two of the toughest guys in the Stadium Super Trucks history, both former series champions, both with a lot of victories next to their name, and a guy in front who's won Dakar, but yet to win in a Stadium Super Truck. As across the KMC Wheels ramp we go, it'll be one lap to go at the end of this. It's go time for Gordon. Watch him try and push the door open here, and his old mate Matty Brabham's might just go along to wish him luck. I tell you, right now, from Robbie Gordon starting all the way back in the last position, he was your fast qualifier. He got the money, he got the points. He started in the 10th spot. He is now all the way up in P2, about to start their last and final lap right here. You are going to see some a major, major pressure put on our leader right now, and oh. it's going to be by Robbie Gordon. Just got the wall as well as the white flag waves. Brabham now moves up into second position. Price will drive this down the middle for the entire lap and protect this lead he's had, even with a 360 at the start. He covers off the guys behind, as down the middle as you like. It's the turn four hairpin. Brabham squeezed up against the wall. Gordon forced the door. Now Brabham. Are they going to go side oh. to side? Someone had to miss the ramp. Someone had to miss the ramp right there, but did he gain any ground? He's certainly not allowed to gain a position by doing that. You can miss a ramp if you err on the side of safety. Brabs did that. That was a smart move, but he was not able to take the lead right there. That would be illegal. He'd lose two positions over it. Across the backside of the circuit we go. This is bringing Biffle. Cole Potts and Gavin Harlan into the mix. So keep in mind, Brabham, who's trying to force this door open. They both lock up the tire. Oh. Contact. Oh, Price is going to go around. This is so unfortunate. The Dakar champion, he will go from first to last. And Gordon, through all of this, has taken the lead of the race. These two came from the back of the field at the start of the race. And look at, there is Gavin Harlan as well. We haven't talked much about him in the last couple of laps. All of a sudden, now he's fighting for a podium as well. So the Cobra, he's been making strikes and bites for quite a while now. Now we got a bunch of trucks all turned around. Cole Potts, he's broke. He's got a broken tie rod, so you got a problem right there. As now they are back and forth, back and forth. Robbie Gordon driving like he's got the elbows up, looking in the mirrors. It's Gordon and Bravo coming to the checkered flag. It's going to be Gordon, and it's only going to be by truck link at the end. Brabham tags the wall in that Carlisle performance entry. What a thriller. Once again, the stadium super trucks on their return. Take a bow. That was awesome. Gordon and Brabham from the back of the field, and Carl Potts is just going to grab this car back to the finish line. The Security State Bank number 60, who was on target for a top four finish, will dribble his way down to the finish line. But you've got to feel for Toby Price in this one. He led the race, he hit the wall with a 360, but the pressure in the end was too strong, and a bit of contact at 11 put him to the back of that field. What a shame. Here's some highlights here as we're on board with Paul the Dude Moore for us. The whole 4x4, and that's what happened. Oh, in the same section we saw Biffle have a problem yesterday. Potts did the same thing all on his own, just like Greg Biffle did. The tightest section of the track right there. We've seen a lot of that in all the different categories. So uh, big trouble there for Potts. Oh, and Morris had to go back to the turn before, but this is the moment. Both trucks locking up. Brabham down the inside, a dirtier party got into the inside of the 87. It sent the field scattering, and for Cole Potts, he just made it through. But for Price, he would drop Look to position this. number six. Here it is from high above. What a tearjerker right here for Toby Price. The Brabham just got into the inside of him, bumped him a little bit. Was it dirty? Was it racing? It was a little more racing than anything. You're down to the last lap. Anything can happen here. Incredible finish. They were told they could race late in the race, and they did that in race number one. The Stadium Super Trucks returning to Australia, and Robbie Gordon chalks up another victory. His 24th career victory in the series. Ahead of Matt Brabham, Gavin Harlan, Greg Biffle, Russell Ingle, Toby Price dropped from first back to sixth ahead of Bill Hines, Paul Morris, and Cole Potts. The nine surviving trucks with Matt Nolan, who went out early on in the first part of the race. That was cool. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, Stadium Super Trucks, we're back. We are back and we're in full effect as we uh, are getting ready to go over a few of the highlights here. I don't think we have enough time to cover them all because then we have to watch the entire race over. Exactly. Here's how it started. 
10 beautifully presented stadium super trucks looking shiny under the skies but it didn't take long for the carnage to unfold here as toby price and let us down to the chicane for the first time greg biff on his first look ran second for the majority of this race while robbie gordon and matt brabham they came from the fifth row yeah. to get to the top of the charts here that was absolutely huge but then nolan early on a wild ride in the first night for nolan then here's the big one toby price i'm around hey boost gets me back moving forward again greg biffle's like what is going on why did i sign up for this because there's another one a uh, good look there at nolan as well and now we're looking back at the vp's driver of harlan right there then here comes Robbie Gordon smoking the tires off hard. We saw almost every competitor make some type of mistake. They were pushing the limit of what's okay to go fast in these vehicles here, man. Really heavy on the gas. They wouldn't have it any other way, would they? Spiffle landed awkwardly off across the first round, which allowed Gordon and Brabham. This was the key moment of the race. They both went past Cole Potts like he was sitting still. And then the moment of the race, Brabham down the inside, both locking tires up and just punched the 87 down at turn number 11, which turned into a car parking lot down at turn number 11. It put Gordon to the lead, but it wasn't done here. It wasn't done there, and that's Cole Potts all on his own. We saw that yesterday with Biffle as well. And now a wild ride at the finish. And there he is, boom, gets in the wall, thumbs up to the crowd. Well done, the entire field. But Robbie Gordon from the back of the field collects the win in race one of the stadium.